Oh, it's closing. Oh, it's closing. Home today at 3.30. I'm just saying that. Why would I lie? To make me feel better. Relax, will you? You were a big hit. Uncle Isaac adored you. You mean it? You want a signed affidavit? I'm just so relieved. I liked him a lot, too, you know. As a matter of fact, I could see a lot of him in you. Heaven forbid. Oh, you don't mean that. No, of course not. He does have certain attitudes that I don't share, though. Such as? Ask him yourself. He's coming by this afternoon. Well, good. This time I'll be ready for him. Somehow I doubt it. You won't believe what has happened. What? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea. All I know is they're dropping like flies. Who is? Everybody. Not me, you. Not the last time I checked. You look pretty good. Well, everybody else, then. I mean, they've all disappeared. Luke, Holly, Celia, Grant, Gregory, and now Jackie. What happened to her? Oh, I wish I knew. All I know, I went home a little while ago, and poof, she was gone. What's so strange about that? She carried everything with her, cleaned the whole place out. Jackie has moved. Without saying anything to you? Not a word. I wonder if Robert knows anything about this. Don't you think it's rather strange that everybody just kind of disappears like that? It does seem like a strange string of coincidences. Yeah, but I think it's more than that. What? I just don't know. I mean, what could possibly, what could possibly be the connection among all of those people? And why in the world is everybody leaving with no explanation? You're asking the wrong guy. Oh, come on. You're an attorney. You're probably a cracker jacket putting two and two together. Oh, yeah, but I usually deal in plain old reality. What's happening here seems more like out of space to me. It is creepy, don't you think? Maybe I just don't have the imagination. Well, I'll tell you, mine is running over time. To me, it's just like aliens are dropping out of the sky and going through Port Charles, kidnapping everybody one by one. I always wanted to travel. You're not taking any of this seriously, are you? I'm sorry, you're right. It is a mystery. Hey, my favorite thing. What's going on? Uh, Haven't hi. you noticed? Well, apparently not. People are vanishing. Anybody I know? Well, the latest is Jackie. Where'd she go? Oh, I wish I knew. But wherever she went, she's planning on staying because she cleaned out the whole apartment. Even her typewriter? The works. Oh, my goodness, that sounds serious. Did you two have a fight? Oh, darling, we're always having a fight, but that doesn't mean anything. And we certainly didn't have anything special. I mean, for her just up and leave like that. First there's Luke, and then there's Gregory, and there's... Gregory? Gregory, your piano player? Among other things. Like what other things? I don't know, but I tell you, what... Whatever it is, it is something that is very bad. Honey, you lost me. Well, let me explain. I, I don't think that Gregory is what he appears to be. Or at least if he is, I don't think that he is just a piano player. What do you mean? My guess is that he's an international criminal. <laughs> that's it. No, that's it. I bet you anything. That's why he's gone underground, so he's not going to get caught. One down and five to go. Pardon? Explanations for the disappearances. Oh. Gregory hasn't disappeared. Well, how would you know? Well, honey, I just saw him. When? Yesterday. No, no, day before yesterday. Where oh. did you see him? At the Ngoru Golandu Pavilion. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I get those confused. Well, honey, that's the African one. What in the world would he be doing there? I don't know. I didn't ask him his business. <laughs> Are you sure it was Gregory that you saw? Oh, I'm positive. Aha. The plot thickens. Hmm. I'll tell you, I think Robert wants to know about this. I think I'll call him. I'll be right back. Yes, it's important. Hello, Isaac. Hello, good afternoon, Miss Kelly. Rose, please, we're friends, remember? Oh, that we are. I'm so glad to see you again. And I, you. Uh, something's happened that's making you uh, especially happy this huh? Oh, why do you say that? Well, just that extra little twinkle in your eyes. Really? Yeah. You keep that up. They're going to have to name a new diamond for you. Uh, Kelly Blue. Ah, something to go with Kelly Green, huh? <laughs> that would be appropriate. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I'm feeling especially happy today, so your instincts are very good, sir. Oh, you've had some good news? Mm, yes, you could call it that. The luck of the Irish, isn't that what they say? What happened? Did you win the sweepstakes? Better than that and worth much more to me, Isaac. <laughs> it's about us. You and me? Mm-hmm. Jake told me what you said. He did. About me, I mean, and I want to let you know that while well, the feeling's mutual, I like you a lot, too. Oh, you're very kind. You haven't seen anything yet. You sit yourself down because I've got something special just for you. Oh, food, I hope. I am famished. Well, not for long. <laughs> uh, ah, 
I didn't mean to ignore you. Oh, don't worry about it. I have my eye on you, Uncle. You're lucky. Usually when somebody's flirting with my girl, I make sure I have all the facts before I take drastic action. Yeah. The truth is the best weapon in this life. The whole truth and nothing but, as we say in my business. And why don't you practice what you preach? Did I say something? To Rose, you did. A little too much, I'm afraid. No, 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 wait. I, I take that back. You didn't say quite enough. This conversation suddenly took a serious turn. You're right. You know, Jake, you've done Rose and me a great disservice. You told her only part of what I said about her. The best part. Why not the rest? Don't you think Rose deserves the whole truth? You want the truth, Uncle. The truth is, I was stalling for time. What? I only told Rose what she needed to know now. I was hoping that you'd get to know her and get to like her a lot so that you'd give your approval. Whatever for? I'm a marriage. I'm gonna marry Rose if she'll have me. Now, Uncle, don't tell me this comes as a surprise to you. You know how I feel about her. The way a man feels and what he does about it are two different things. Not in this case. And that is what shocks me. You should be flattered I haven't even asked Rose yet. Oh, I should be flattered because I'm the first to know? No, but that should give you some idea of how I feel about you. Give me some idea of how little you know about me. Because if you knew me, you would realize that I don't give my approval to anything that I feel is wrong. I am not a hypocrite. And I will not give my blessings to a wedding between two people who have no business being involved with each other in the first place. Now, don't tell me that comes as a shock to you. No. More like a disappointment. I come to you as I would come to my father. Your father? I know, Uncle Isaac. If he only knew, he'd turn over in his grave. And his father before him and his father. Well, am I to answer to the entire Meyer family for the rest of my life? Well, the way things are going, I don't have much hope for the continuation of the Meyer family. I am the only spokesman that's left. And now it looks like I'm the one that's going to have to deal with this. Well, then why don't you deal? You're making pronouncements about right and wrong. They just don't exist in a relationship. Now who's making pronouncements? I'm talking about real feelings, my love for Rose. Oh. Did you just invent love? You are a tough cookie, Uncle. I've lived longer than you. Are you happy with the rules you've made for yourself? Is a man happier without rules? Rose makes me happier than you'll ever know. You liked her a whole lot. You said so before you knew what the stakes were. What I think about Rose has nothing to do with this. It's what you think of yourself. What you think of your heritage. I'm very that proud. That is everything. I'm proud of my heritage. Well, then how can you even consider marrying Rose? Choose, Jake. I'm not making a choice. I'm still Jake Meyer. You're still my uncle. I have a lot of respect for you. But I'm going to marry the woman I love. Here you go. Certified kosher. Oh, well, I, 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 I really feel... I, I, no, lunch. Hey, uh, Isaac, it's guaranteed kosher. Believe me, I wouldn't kid you about I, that. I know, but suddenly I've... Uh... I've lost my appetite. Maybe I overdid it. Here, let me just take some of this off of that No, plate. no, really, I don't, I don't think I could eat a thing. And, and, and besides, I, I do feel rather ill right now. Would you like some tea? No, 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 thank you. Just let me sit here for a moment. Mm, hey, any luck? No, I couldn't find Robert. He's not at home, and he's not at headquarters. Mm. Maybe he already knows about Gregory. He could be at the expo right now, trying to locate him. Yes. Convincing? I really can't blame Gregory for this. I mean, we were... Missing persons accounted for. While you're at it, I'd like to know what happened to my help around here today. <sighs> yes, proud of you. <laughs> well, I have to go see a client. You want to come along? And do what? Just sit and be proud, I guess. Oh, I do enough of that already. No, as a matter of fact, it's such a fine afternoon, I think I'll just stay here and sip my tea. 
Is that all? Isn't that enough? That depends. Besides, I thought you were sick. Rose's tea has marvelous restorative powers. Yeah. Uncle Isaac, you're not going to try to dissuade her, are you? From what? Me. Now, Jake, you know I love you like my own son. Would I do anything ever to hurt you? Not intentionally. Meaning precisely what? I have to go. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Can I get you anything else? Well, some more tea when, when you find the chance. And uh, your company, once uh, some of this crowd thins out. Well, the tea's coming right up. The company may take a little longer. I can wait. Okay. Uh, well, fine. Fine. Have a wonderful... Still want that company? Oh, very much. Please join me. Do you want anything else? No, no, no. I've had plenty, and this tea is great. Well, you should try my stew. I'm sorry, I just can't help but thinking of you as... Uh, the same as anyone else. Yeah. Not that you're different or anything. But I am. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Rose. You're being different? In, in a way. I and my nephew. Is anything wrong? Oh, I, I wouldn't say that. Then why do I get the feeling you're about to tell me something I don't want to hear, like get out of Jake's life? Oh, no. Nothing quite so dramatic as that, Rose. But I am concerned about your backgrounds. Here we go again. Pardon? Just for the record, you're not talking about the fact that I was raised as a girl and Jake was brought up as a boy. <laughs> no, that difference doesn't concern me. But that's the only one that doesn't. Rose, you're Irish, Catholic. Jake is Jewish. And never the twain shall meet. Well, in friendship, certainly, but in marriage, impossible. Why? Because well, you come from separate cultures. Your respective uh, heritages couldn't possibly be more different. Variety's a spice of life. Opposites attract. Yin and yang. They wouldn't be cliches if they weren't true. And, of course, there is the future to take into consideration. Children. Should you decide to have them, how would they be educated? The rate we're going, we're never going to find out. I believe that's wise. You haven't been talking to Mrs. Clancy by any chance, have you? Remind me to introduce you. You two would hit it off real well. You've got a lot in common. Oh, I take it uh, she opposes the union, too? For the same reason. Sounds like a very sensible woman. But can't love rise above tradition? If two people love each other, isn't that more important than ancient conventions or old-fashioned prejudices that just don't mean anything anymore? But they do, Rose, especially in our way of life. They determine the manner in which we conduct ourselves today, just as they always have for centuries, in my faith and in yours. That's what makes our respective people strong. That's how we have survived. I never meant to represent my race. I only wanted to be with Jake, and is that so wrong? Oh, it's... It's unsuitable. I'm sorry, Rose, but... If you truly love Jake, you'll let him go. Your marriage just cannot be. Excuse me. I'm going to try Blackie. I want to tell him about Gregory. Maybe he knows what's going on. 